Hi besties, long time no see. Before we start, I would like to introduce myself. I am 30 years old and I create realistic vlogs here on YouTube. This vlog is especially life-changing to me. After 6 months of unemployment, facing countless rejection and battling extremely low mood and struggling with laziness, I feel like my luck has finally turned around. And they gave me an offer. If you saw the last video, it's really funny, so go and watch. I didn't get a job and I took it very personally. I'm going and crying. I know I shouldn't get it very personally, but I did. And I cannot change that because I am a very fragile person or mentally ill, I don't know. But anyway, so I decided to give myself a week to lick my wounds. And after a week passed by, I got depressed even more and I literally did nothing for the next week also. And if I been honest, all I did was play Sims 4 and watch cat Catfish. It was literally th those two things that I did <laughs> on a daily basis. Like, I played Sims to this extent that my eyes were hurting after so many... Like, from the beginning, from... I woke up, I drank coffee, I did something, I cleaned my apartment and then I just played Sims till the fucking evening. Crazy. It was cool for two weeks but then I realized it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny anymore. I am depressed. And first time in my life I started to having thoughts about like, oh if I would die Today. I would be like, okay, <laughs> I guess it's need to be, <laughs> I don't know, it was scary shit. Anyway, this week is a bit better. I actually edited the vlog from Vienna and it's really cool. I really like it. And I also yesterday went to job interview. There's something you don't know, but I know, but I don't want to say yet. So I went to job interview to be a waitress and it was cool until I, when I was going back I realized I would better die, I would better to scope on my eyeballs than go and be a waitress. I really hate this job and I always hated this job. So I realized, you know, for my mental health, I'm not gonna do this, I'm not gonna do this. I hate being a waitress. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to find some job here locally. Anyway, today I got a soup. Yes, a soup. And I burned myself to fucking death with my soup. I'm gonna show. You. I cannot really see right now, but this was whole like red because the soup, the plate with the soup went just straight on my my tights. I got also a cream today from the pharmacy so it looks much much better. Still hurts a bit but the pain was oh my god. I'm gonna have right now an interview but it's like AI and it's like gamified uh, interview I don't know I never did it uh, but I'm gonna do it and yeah wish me luck I hope I'm gonna you know I hope I'm gonna pass <laughs> that would be amazing but also I don't I am not stressed because I was rejected already so many times so if I'm gonna be rejected once again, it's not gonna change anything. And yeah, I think there's a slim chance of like 5 to 
of me passing. So, yeah, let's see. I know something you don't. So, <laughs> I look crazy, you know, uh, but I got email today and they gave me an offer to a work in Dubai, which is crazy when I think about it. But yeah, I am excited, but also it's not that I'm getting the job because the only thing what I need to do is the medical clearance and you know, you never know, maybe something will not be okay. Uh, and also I don't have health insurance here in Germany. I need to pay it like by myself and I'm afraid that it's gonna be quite a lot. Uh, but yeah, I am very, 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 very excited about that. Let's see. I just like this. I hope it's gonna be all okay. I'm gonna accept now my offer for the job in Emirates. I'm stressed. So let me talk about what is happening right now. And it's crazy because uh, yesterday I accepted the offer for working for Emirates. And <laughs> it's so crazy because I don't know, I have imposter syndrome so much that I was thinking, what if this is a scam and someone is just trying to scam me and I couldn't believe in my luck because for me it was also almost too easy because I was getting, I was going to interviews and the interviews that were, for example, in my uh, last interview that I uh, got not accepted, I literally needed to like go through three steps and I was like, this is too easy, this is too easy, maybe they are scamming me, maybe this is not Emirates. But uh, today I got an e other email that they tried to contact me. I was a little bit confused what they mean, but I figured out that maybe they wanted to call me and I realized that my phone number is the wrong phone number on the website, which is huge fuck up. Uh, but I uh, provided them with my uh, new phone and I'm just like anxiously waiting for them to call me uh, because otherwise I don't know what else to, do they want to <laughs> how they want to contact me uh, because they have my email they are contacting me through email so I don't know uh, but yeah so I am like uh, anxiously waiting I am like afraid that maybe they won't they won't reach me I don't know but today I was very the morning I was very stressed out the other thing is also that that I so basically I my status is like I think I am like I think I am like 90% done because I need to do also medicals so I need to provide them with medical information but I don't have any uh, like I don't know what they mean by that so I am kind of stuck in this uh, you know I don't know what I'm as what's supposed to what I should do uh, in the future and so yeah I would just really love to and it's also you know it's like okay I got accepted but like what if my medicals would not be good or whatever what if they will say uh, you know in just some what's I don't know I'm just like I am still getting this vibes that maybe I will get rejected of course that is highly not possible and once I'm gonna have those papers here <laughs> okay maybe not here but in my computer and signed I'm gonna be happy and uh, that's gonna mean that I am doing it that I'm going there and I'm really moving to Dubai <laughs> which is crazy hi there welcome with our onboarding portal you'll be able to navigate through the process seamlessly to do a new passport picture so 
Yeah. Um, I'm gonna Photoshop myself one hundred percent. Um, because why not? But yeah, I need a new passport picture, and I'm not gonna pay money for that because I can do it, you know, by myself. So basically, I do, you know. Whatever. Uh, basically, I'm not buying stuff at all. Like, I do not like fast fashion. I'm not really keen on buying new stuff. However, I am on my period, and today I just felt the feminine urge to buy stuff on sales. So I actually bought a few stuff from Zara and also H&M and yeah I think once they're gonna get there here next a week I'm gonna give you an update and you're gonna see what I bought but however I think it's also it's not that I'm having this urges very often like literally this is my first urge from I think I think I didn't buy a star anything from uh, fast fashion for like two years. So I don't know why. Maybe because I'm excited because I, as I told, I got, uh, I'm gonna probably go to Dubai to work there. So yeah, that's probably reason why I'm like excited because I'm already like thinking, okay, I already need some stuff because I need to, you know, look nice once I'm gonna work there and apparently stuff in Dubai is like double the price here uh, anywhere in Europe so yeah, I probably gonna, I'm gonna probably uh, return the stuff because Honestly, everything looks so nice on the pictures, but once I'm gonna wear it, you know, I'm not, I'm kind of middle size, I'm kind of, you know, bigger person. Um, it's not gonna look as cute as on the pictures on, you know, models. But however, yeah, and today I just literally spent the whole day at home. I don't do anything like spectacular <laughs> lastly besides being excited on going to Dubai today I got an email um, stating that I should resign from my job if I have any so I guess this is like a final confirmation that I am actually moving to Dubai I have a lot of like things in my mind I am like afraid like for now everything is great but I am afraid how you know jobs gonna be how overall everything's gonna be but also at the same time I'm super excited to have this opportunity and you know it can it will boost will boost my career on a completely different level I am afraid that I'm gonna get that I'm not gonna get the accommodation like the company accommodation and then I would need to rent some Airbnb for the first six months because I'm too poor to actually rent the apartment for now. I'm planning to rent an apartment like maybe after six months or something so I can, you know, have a lot of money on my account already. I think for the first six months I'm uh, saving a lot of money. I'm very excited. I'm like it's crazy that this is happening to me. That I am really moving and really starting my life after turning 31. <laughs> the other thing is that I really want to lose weight. So I think I will try to like post also fitness content or like me trying to lose weight content I would like to lose at least 10 kilograms so yeah let's see I am on my period right now so I'm not gonna work out uh, however I could but I'm choosing not to 
but yeah i think i will make a plan like plan of game how i'm gonna incorporate um fitness and like working out i think uh, you know that i was actually going out like for an hour every day but i'm bored right now and i don't really have anything like to do here and i am um, i do not want to go out. I would try to work out at least four times a week, but of course I have this thing with my knee, so I cannot really work out a lot of stuff, but I will try. Yeah, and see you in the next, next vlog, and you're gonna see, I'm gonna update you what's gonna happen, and yeah, <laughs> bye!